Hello, cold rats, and welcome back to the shower room in Pikmin 2, sub level 2. I'm Tracklatama. And let's see, what do we got here? Oh, we got jelly floats. That's a uh, lesser spotted jelly floats, which will suck up your Pikmin. There's greater, greater spotted uh, jelly floats that will pick up your uh, captains, I think. They can also get Pikmin 2 to like an extent. <laughs> Whatever sense that makes, but yeah. They're kind of like snitch bugs, except the fact that, uh, there's a little bit more of a threat because uh, jelly floats can actually uh, kill your pigment over time if you're so slow to take them down. So, all right, we got a little bit of poison here, and the music's all shower room like. I like how the the ringiness of the music, that's like <laughs> keyboards and awesomeness. I like how it uh, goes up with the jelly float sound effects because everything's all trippy and stuff. And <laughs> one pigment died to the wall wall. It was only a blue pigment, so. I was on that word. We got another turret cell battery. What's that? Is that a, it's actually a double A now, I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, yeah. Another comparison for how tiny we are and are toiling for our company. I like that word, toiling, because it sounds like toilets, but uh, there's a lot of progress on. You make progress when you take a crap in the bathroom. Herky turkey, so soapy wopy. What's it? Oh, I thought it said uh, solid soap, but. Instead, it's smiled soap because the S covers both the things, or you can make them C's. And okay, yeah, I was wondering. I thought we were done with treasures, but nope, this wasn't there quite yet. And whoa, it's actually worth quite a lot for being a double A. Next sub level. Oh, we got more jelly floats here. I think we might actually. Yeah, there's our greater greater spotted jelly floats. So we've got a lot of water-related enemies through here, of course. Pretty much the most non-water-related enemies were the bulwarbs, like the orange bulwarbs. I don't know why there were orange bulwarbs of all things. Maybe they just like water. Maybe they're thirsty. Oh yeah, maybe they're like Jersey Shore bulwarbs that being orange. They spray paint themselves orange, and they're thirsty for, you know, just like, that's the thing of describing slutty girls nowadays. You thirsty. Uh, anything behind here? No, not quite. Uh, gotta be careful with later sub-levels because enemies will be within and there's a bunch of dweebles involved. Shelly Float Senior was kinda sassy with his makeup case. It doesn't even look like it has a, uh, mirror even though it is called Mirror Stage. And that Wally Log was a little scary as I was, uh, trying to get that nectar. I was, like, having one pigment attack it and my- and then he just turned around and was like, No, Purples, man! Oh boy, hey, 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 how's- <laughs> You're always worried about him and then- All of a sudden, Water Dump falls out of nowhere! It's a shell that actually looks like a shell, woohoo. Scrumptious shell, are you sure you're gonna eat that? It's shiny and it's the lid of a thing, the vorpal platter. I mean, like, you could use that as a platter, like, if you're... If you want to eat those Vienna sausages. <coughs> okay, this sub level's a little interesting. It's more or less a... Whoa, that was... Whoa, jeez, calm down. This is being kind of weird. This is more or less the rest sub level, but one of the treasures here is kind of interesting <laughs> once we get around to it and I hear the music kind of uh jingly jingly because there's some uh spectrolites in here oh boy a lot of them uh I don't okay there's our purple one but the main one I want to get is the red one just get me some spicy spicy spray because I actually need some of that and yay there's a queen candy pop bud that I was uh, uh speaking of I don't even care what color pick when I get okay I was about to get uh yellows but it came out to be blues at the last second oh well no cares to give. And this isn't really a lot of water, so <laughs> our Pikmin can actually go around and... Let's see, where's our treasure? This sub uh, level's so pretty. By the exit, uh, but, well, our exit's kinda right here, but... Right here is, uh, our rather odd treasure. I mean, it may not seem quite like it in this game, but, uh, in the Japanese version, uh, Olimar would <laughs> kind of talk about it otherwise, so I'm just gonna keep talking about it. So in short, uh, I think it's intended to be a pot leaf, but in North American, they may consider it like, I don't know, like a maple leaf or something. At least as far as I know. 420. Okay, sub-level 5 has a lot of things. They got dwarf orange bull boards, we got withering blogs, fire blogs, fire itself, and a lot of walls. The thing about this is that they can blow you through the wall like a glory hole. What? I didn't say anything. Um, but what do I kill first? I mean... I guess I'm alright with the uh, deflowerization, so I'm just gonna get this out of the way and then uh, avoid you and, and get as little uh, deflowerization as possible. The jelly float that spawned by this is oh so dangerous. It, it, he was just like, you who? It's a pan, the broken food, master. 
Oh wait, yeah, you actually could like break up like tiny bits of steak on it, and then fry it up, and then make some cheesesteaks. Man, cheesesteaks sound so good. I want that for dinner. All right, the reason I have so many blues is because the layout of this level is very interesting. Drop your blues down that great, and there's a uh, thing that takes 20 Pikmin. <laughs> yeah, I went kind of overkill, but yeah. It's mainly because there's a lot of water things and there could be more potential generations of things that could do that. And our last treasure here is Beachcliff Sardines. I don't really like seafood, so I don't know about the amazingness of sardines if they even are that amazing. I do know that they smell much like any other seafood. Sub-level 6 has things all around. Ooh, this is the sub-level that I was talking about that has a lot of dweebles in between all these little alcoves. And we got an ivory candy pop bud if we so desire it, but, um, I may or may not actually use it. Was that a, a ball tall we will? Okay, it was just a, uh, dog rock, I believe. Hey, it's a Snapple jar, and it's a spider! And, like, you know how Snapple things usually have facts at the bottom of them? I remember one of the facts was, uh, you eat seven or eight spiders throughout the course of a year during when you sleep. Hey, so what's it matter? You're sleeping anyway. Oh, doodle bug, 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 Gotta break down some walls, and you'll be happy. I'm not even rhyming my words. Okay, the boss music has started. This is the Roiging Boyster. It's a very weird enemy. So yeah, we fought like a smaller Boyster earlier. And please, if you, oh, don't be. How, how much did you eat? Uh, I think he ate only blues. Yeah, he ate only blues. I don't know why all my blues are involved in mass genocides. So the thing about this is that he likes to go for the active captain, and he's still stuck with it for a couple seconds, and then eventually changes to the other captain. So, uh, I'm actually trying to attract him over this way, so I can actually have room for my Pikmin to attack. This could take a couple minutes, uh, if you're not really ready, and, uh, definitely keep your Pikmin away from it, because, yeah. Oh, Boister Blusted! Well, arrange where the L is located. Now this is a good treasure right here, if it'll actually register. Okay, let's go. It looks like a smiley face with like a huge gaping mouth, but it's actually some kind of a weird megaphone thing. This cool creature dissolved, leaving the scary side behind. Is Christopher walking now? He just see anything my hold. Blah, blah, blah. Woo! It's the amplified amplifier, because it's amplified for your amplification, but if you amplify too much in audacity, it might make it too loud. <laughs> Mega tweeter, because... Yeah, I, I, I'm a mega tweeter because I tweet on every single video I upload because, yeah, I'm cool like that. <laughs> I don't even have, like, ten real followers on Facebook or Twitter because, like, some of them are, like, accounts that are inactive or some of them are just, like, some of those spam accounts. I usually block those, but yeah. Uh, what that'll do is make our whistle carry out a little bit farther, so <laughs> it's definitely going to be helpful, especially because in the Wii version... You can do things like that because, like, your thing can actually reach farther than, like, the where your Pikmin can be thrown to. Oh, I got my Pikmin flowered up from a little bit of nectar. Uh, there's still a couple leaves in the back there, of course. Yeah, wait, only one leaf and it's a red leaf. Jeez, why well, must it be a red leaf? Okay, there's also a blue leaf, but yeah. Next time on Let's Play Pikmin 2, uh, we're gonna be going for another cave that we have opened up, the Glutton's Kitchen, behind a yellow gate where the pilot seat would have been in Pikmin 1. So until then, do not toast yourself!